All Things Mama, and you're here in my kitchen today. Today we're going to make the number one recipe on All Things Mama, buffalo chicken dip. This is a quick and easy appetizer that you can make at any time of the year. Make it on Sunday for football or just on Friday for a snack. First what we're going to do is we're going to take two cans of canned chicken. I know what you're thinking, canned chicken, but I'm telling you it is delicious. We're going to take two cans of canned chicken and then we're going to take three-fourths a cup of buffalo chicken sauce. Once it's hot and bubbly, you're going to want to add two whole blocks of cream cheese right into your pan. You're going to mix it around and let it start to melt. What I like to do is I like to soften the blocks of cream cheese first. So they have just been sitting out at room temperature for about 30 minutes so they're not completely melty. So you're just going to slowly move them around and mix it in. Once the cream cheese is melted, continue to stir and add in one cup of ranch dressing right into the pan. It doesn't get much easier than this. Stir it all around, get it thoroughly mixed up. I wish you guys could smell this, it just smells delicious. Then you're gonna take one and a half cups of shredded cheddar cheese and add it right in. I like to keep just a little bit back to put on the top of the dish that we're going to use to put in the oven. The great thing about this dip is that you can either eat it just like this when you're done by putting it in the serving dish, or you can bake it in the oven with some shredded cheese on top and get it all melty and bubbly and serve it that way. And the third way that we like to do is we put it in a crock pot and let it sit out for the day and just enjoy it with um, crackers and veggies and anything else that we can think to dip right in. All you need to do now is just mix the cheese right in until it's all melted. Then we're going to add it to a baking dish and bake in the oven at 350 degrees until everything is melty and cheesy and bubbly. It's going to be great. Just pour it right into any baking dish that you have. See how delicious that looks? Everything's all melted. You can smell the spiciness of the buffalo chicken dip and the creaminess of the ranch. Then all you're going to do next is take that extra cheese and sprinkle it right over the top. I like a lot of cheese, so we're going to put a ton right over top. And again, we're going to place it in the oven at 350 degrees. It's usually about 15 to 20 minutes. And then we're going to take it out and enjoy it. And while your buffalo chicken dip is in the oven cooking, just put out some crackers on a platter. We like actually chicken and a biscuit crackers. And also these little pita thins. They're delicious with anything. Hummus, regular dip, just cream cheese. But we also really like them with buffalo chicken dip. And of course you have to have celery. So I just take regular celery hearts and just cut them into bite-sized pieces while we're waiting on the dip. Um, just because it's less cleanup, but just regular celery is fine. And just cut them up and get ready for your dip to come out of the oven. Here we go, fresh out of the oven, buffalo chicken dip is amazing. 